So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges. The Eververse video will come out later just because I want to go through all of the Eververse stuff and probably combine the seasonal stuff as well, just because I don't want to do a whole video on the seasonal stuff. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, I really do appreciate it. Other than that, let's look at these seasonal challenges. So into the depths one, complete the week one into depths mission. This is not hard. This is literally the first thing you should be doing. Uh, frontline salvager, complete salvager or deep dive activities while using arc or strand subclass. Additionally, defeat fallen anywhere in the system. Not hard at all. The seasonal activity is pretty fun. Specifically, the deep dive, I think, is a little bit more fun than salvage salvage. I will be making a video on the salvage and deep dive activities, but uh, they're fun. They're pretty cool. The one that didn't get away, catfish or catch, catch, <laughs> catfish, <laughs> catch fish at any fish pond. Additionally, complete public events on any destination. This one's not hard considering by the time that the public event already pops up, you'll still be fishing. So this one I've caught myself doing like three, four public events just because I'm fishing so much. I enjoy fishing. So this is not a surprise to me. Successful salvagers successfully complete jobs in salvage activities. This, I don't think this is hard considering the jobs should be the like portions of the activity that you have to do. So like uh, de uh, deactivating the bombs, um, making sure you're taking the like fix fixtures to the like hook thing. I don't know. It, each of those should count as a regular job. So you should only have to do this one and a half times on the salvage because it's usually just three jobs and then the boss fight. So three all right, so a little bit more than just one and a half, but yeah, not hard at all. EDZ activities in the, in the EDZ earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. This is literally because of this right here. I've been doing the, the uh, public events in e the EDZ because I've been fishing in the EDZ and yeah, these two are, are actually really good together. So just do this one. Taking all challenges, complete weekly playlist. This one is going to be good with these three because these three are the weekly playlist stuff. So standard issue, defeat targets and gambit with primary weapon or pri primary ammo. Bonus progress is granted for using auto rifle, hand cannons and scout rifles. Bonus progress is also is granted for defeating guardians. So this one's probably really good if you like want to get the most the most bang out of your buck, I guess you would say. Use a scout rifle to kill some guardians when, while you're invading. I think that would be the best one. Uh, the Fallen, defeat Fallen combatants in Vanguard playlist or strikes, earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants. We'll get to this one um, after we are done with the list because I want to show you guys where to go. Spark Defenders score points in Rift, bonus progress is awarded for igniting the Rift. Not hard, just play Rift. Um, some people might not like that, but Rift is fine. So the Fallen Fall, this one, eh, I'm going to show you guys real quick. So for this one, you can go to Nessus specifically where are you uh no no this one you can go to exodus crash there's a bunch of fucking that's purely fallen if i remember correctly so this one you can do easily but there's also other ones you can do i think there's one in the cosmodrome if i remember correct yeah devil's layer you can do devil's layer fallen saber is also a good one not that one um not that one either i think that was it so it's gonna be fallen uh devil's layer or fallen saber i think those two would probably be better uh just because if you go to the Vanguard playlist, some of some for me, at least when I'm trying to complete, like kill these enemies, it's usually never help, like never getting my like that enemy will never pop up for me. So I always have to go to the actual uh, strike playlist or strike list and then just pick one from there. So this is done for the playlist. We have new stuff, seasonal bonuses, which is the uh, whatchamacallit, I forgot what it's called, the um, the upgrade modules. So for this one, it's Deep Challenger, complete week one of Into Depths to unlock the following seasonal bonuses. Completing a season of the Deep Weekly Activity Challenge grants a chance to earn an additional Deep Ingram when completing activities, resets weekly. This one's pretty good. Definitely do this one. You're gonna get this, it's week one, obviously. But then we have Deep Armor Focusing, obtaining full full set of season of the deep armor to unlock the following seasonal bonuses deep engrams can be focused into individual pieces of high stat season of the deep armor hopefully that's true hopefully because um from what i've noticed um the seasonal stuff doesn't award really high uh stat stuff anymore so hopefully that's true so that we can start doing that again synchronized swimming reach rank seven with the sonar station in helm to unlock the following seasonal bonus 
you guys don't know seen sonar station is the it's 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 over here actually i forgot i was here it's this it's the the new seasonal one this one right here if you guys are wondering what the hell that is it's basically your your uh your seasonal rank which is super easy yeah let's go back uh where were we i think we were here right yeah oh we didn't even see so deep seven you and your fire team gain bonus reputation when opening chests in salvage or deep dive activities the reputation granted increases for each fire team member with the seasonal bonus so that's pretty cool definitely gonna have a lot more um stuff to get when you're running stuff i should further explain that you should get more rank depending on people if people have synchronized swimming or not is what i meant a fishing angler catch fish while a fish pond is at its maximum catch bonus to unlock the following seasonal bonus when fishing with bait you have a chance to have your bait return after catching a fish that's actually really cool unfortunately for you to be at the maximum catch bonus i think you have to be in a squad um while fishing so that way you can get that uh maximum catch bonus a little higher because if you do it by yourself uh you would have to have not only a lot of bait but the other problem would be the fact that uh public events would spawn in so you wouldn't have enough time to actually rank that um catch bonus up enough as a solo player unless for some reason you have some weird rng where you get like a bunch of legendary fish like at the same time that would be wild but yeah you, you'd have to do that as a like as a group uh, reach rank 13 with the sonar station in helm to unlock the following seasonal bonus completing activities grants a chance to earn an additional deep ingram that's pretty cool uh, forgotten treasures as a fire team complete three jobs within a single salvage activity to unlock the following seasonal bonus when you redeem a key in salvage or deep dive activities you have a chance to earn an additional deep ingram also really cool uh the reason why it says complete three jobs within a single salvage activity is because you can actually fail them so yeah don't do that deep sight salvaging defeat each unique boss in salvage activities to unlock the following seasonal bonus your first craftable weapon individually focused at the sonar station in the helm each week is guaranteed to have a deep sight resonance which is really cool i already bought a few so i don't know if this works retroactively like oh i didn't have it before now i can use it we'll see also kind of unfortunate that we only have two bosses for the season that's kind of unfortunate i would have liked at least three or six that would have been cool dive station successfully complete an encounter at the abyss depth in deep dive activity to unlock the following seasonal bonus an ammo crate containing special and heavy ammo is hidden at each depth in deep dive activities opening the crate also grants additional objective time um, so I'm stuck at three right now. Um, I was told that you have to go to like, you have to find a Tolan ball to like increase your depth. We'll see. Uh, deep dive is really cool though. And then defeat each unique boss in deep dive activity. Oh. oh, okay. So this is salvage and deep. Okay. So deep dive, we get three bosses and this one we get two. Unfortunate that we only get two for salvage because salvage is probably, hmm didn't say the most fun one but it's like the one i would probably run the most um, i don't know we'll see um when you redeem a salvage key you have a chance to earn a deep dive key that's pretty cool so the first one is jaws wrathborn servitor which is funny i love the name we have a uh, good desad kudizad kudizad whatever bound of shivu and kelgaroth taken from bones is this fucking uh what's his face uh, i for for those of you who are new back in the day we had an ogre in titan that people would always like test their stuff with and i'm pretty sure it's kelgaroth um i might be wrong i don't remember his name but that'll be funny if it is and six successfully complete an encounter uh at the abyss depth in deep dive activity to unlock the fallen seasonal bonus an ammo crate containing wait we already talked about this one all right so these are all of the bonuses as you guys can see i'm like deep into like getting so <laughs> i didn't mean to <laughs> i didn't mean to say deep um i'm deep into getting some of all like a lot of these and this is like the second day like legitimately it's the second day so the, it's really cool that we can just immediately go for these if we really wanted to like a lot of these are not hard these two are the only one the only ones that are like actually time gated because the next week we'll probably get or or Urugotha? Urugotha? 
and then for this one we'll probably get uh kurizad next week and then the week after that kelgaroth so yeah that's pretty much it for your challenges i will not be going through all of this um like weekly it's mostly just going to be this the week one and eververse but because this is the first week that's why we're going through the week one and this one as well next week we'll most likely just go through week one week two and then um eververse so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that be safe i will see you guys later